Thursday at noon. I'm Audrey Storch from Wayne, New Jersey, and this is the Rosie O'Donnell Show. Today's guests are Tracy Ullman, Tommy Hilfiger, Chris Christopherson, and John Dye. Hit it, John! <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. Good. Glad to hear it. Now, you gave Tracy a... Yes. Yes. You didn't give Chris Christopherson or John Dye a... You know, I wanted to. I was thinking of that, but it was so quiet behind me. I thought maybe I should bring him back down. Well, no, people were a little stunned, I think, with the... I know. But I found it enjoyable backstage. You had your own sort of appeal, your own kind of way of doing it. All right. Chris, John... There you go! Thank you, Audrey! Audrey, you know that you look a little bit like Diana Manoff? No, you're supposed to say Barbara Streisand. <laughs> you mean my best friend? And mine, and mine. And yours? In my dreams, but yes. You love her too, right? <laughs> oh, to death. First movie you saw? Funny Girl. Me too. How many times? Oh, I can't count anymore. Can you finish this line? No. Are you sure? <laughs> You're the queen of trivia. I'm not. Isn't this the height of nonchalance? I can't finish this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it saddens me, Audrey, in I'm some not. way. Furnishing a bed in restaurants. They call me secondhand rose. There you go. That's not bad, all right? That's good enough. Now, who are you here with? My youngest son, Jesse, who Hi, happens dude. to be dressed in Tommy Hilfiger, believe it or not. I didn't know he was coming. Yes. Jeans and all. There you go. My oldest son, Adam, whose birthday's next week. Hey, Adam. Happy birthday. My mother-in-law, Kate. Hi, and Kate. And my wonderful husband, Michael. How about that? And we are raising money for GM's Concept Cure to help in the fight against breast cancer. You're a breast cancer survivor. Yes. Good for you. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're 38 years old. Excuse me? You are 38 years old. I think Excuse it's a, me? You're 38 years old? 21. You're 21, 21 years, years old. old. You had those boys when you were in junior high school. <laughs> so you are, you're 38 years yes. old, which is a good thing to, to uh, say to people out there, because a lot of people think they have the misconception 40s, 50s, 60s. Yeah. So uh, tell everybody when you uh, first found the lump. I was 35, right mm -hmm. before my 36th birthday, a few months before. And you went to the doctor, and they said, hey, don't worry about it, it's nothing? Uh, I actually went for a baseline mammography, mm -hmm. just to play it safe. There wasn't any lump at the time, right. a few months before. And they said, I was too young to have cancer, go home. Right. And they were wrong. They were way wrong. And you were right. Of course. And you're doing well? Very well. Excellent. You had Perfect. treatment? Chemotherapy and radiation and surgeries. Good for you. And you look very healthy, Audrey. Uh, appearance is everything. <laughs> That's right. And you feel pretty good, don't you? Yeah. Well, you know what? The Rolling Stones are in concert. Are you aware of this? Yeah. Yeah, you know, and uh, they have a few hits. And um, the Sprint, the people who are sponsoring the concert, Sprint, they said that um, they were going to give two tickets to somebody in the audience. And we thought, why not you, Audrey? Oh, so, uh, there you go. You babysit? Yeah, I'll babysit. Hi, dude. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. And uh, you, you and your family are going to get to go to the All-Star Cafe, which is a great place. And... Just give me that, Janie. Just, you know, because next time when you're here, I want you to know every single word on this Barbara Streisand, the Do you have this? No, I, I didn't. figured you didn't because you didn't know that line right there. <laughs> you memorize it, Audrey, and next time you get back, you know that whole thing. Yeah, but if I lose against you, you're going to take me to people's court. <laughs> <laughs> I might. It's my show. No, thank you very much for being thank here. Nice you to meet you. Give me a high five, dude. Give me a high five, dude.
Say hello to John McDee, the McDee Outdoor. Thank you. Good. I'm, I'm good. good too. Yeah. 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 What'd you do? Weekend? I slept the whole weekend. Slept the whole sort of, weekend. Yeah, fighting this cold thing. I got my coldies here. Yeah. Fighting, uh, fighting the cold. I'm losing a little bit, but I'm feeling okay. Feeling all right. We did a lot of shows last week. Yeah. In anticipation. Excuse me. Bless, <laughs> totally, bless you. Totally burped. Excuse all right. me. It happens. It was sort of like a hiccup burp. It wasn't even it just was a, a big old burp. Combination. You know, every time my son burped now, he says, I sorry. Oh. And I feel bad. I'm like, you don't have to say you're sorry. You can, you can just say, you know. excuse me. No, I sorry. Though. Now, whenever yeah. he burps, I let out a big one so he doesn't feel guilty. <laughs> right. That's or bad. Nice. I'm far too codependent. <laughs> okay. Um, I was, uh, you know, watched Free Willy a couple thousand times All this right. weekend. Getting to know it a little bit. Found the necklace, thankfully. And, uh, oh, you did? Good. Yeah, I can't watch Free Willy without the Free Willy I necklace. Understand. <laughs> Gave him a bottle one too many times. It's funny if you're a mom and other moms come over. My friend Jackie came over yeah. with her kids. Another friend of mine with their kids. And, uh, you know, Parker was like, I want the bottle. And I was like, oh, he doesn't have the <laughs> bottle. I don't know why he's <laughs> even asking for it. <laughs> I was so ashamed, you know, of me, not of him. It's not his fault. Sure. But I give it to him, you know. Well, and then, of know. course, everybody with their little lecture. What you need to do, Jackie tells me, is make the hole very, very thin, just like a little tiny pin, and put all water and a drop of juice, and it'll be really, really difficult for him to get it out. Right. And then he'll want the sippy cup. I'm easy. like, so basically torture him, <laughs> pretty much. You know? <laughs> torture him out of the bottle. But you know that my, um, oh. I got the, a new computer for Christmas, yeah. and it's got a CD-ROM right in it. Cool. Because she used to have a power book with the CD-ROM, and it didn't always work that, <laughs> but I got this computer, and my son is two and a half years old. He will play... Preschool Elmo and Jumpstart Pre-K, which are two discs oh for kids, gosh. for hours, John, really? for hours. And I put in the new disc. I put in the Green Eggs and Ham, the Dr. Seuss disc, uh -huh. and I figured I'll teach him how. I sit him on my lap. I'm like, okay, honey, now you see how? I know how to do it. You go he's, away. He's, and I, he's got it already. He does the entire first time through. He can do that. Isn't that odd? It's really weird. You know they're going to, like, totally kick our butt computer-wise, all of our kids. That's right. That Ten years generation. from now, I'm going to be like, I have no idea how all this stuff appeared at my house. <laughs> right. You know, you can do plane reservations. Oh, you can boy. Do anything you want. Oh, boy. I went to a dinner party last night. You did? Swanky kind yeah. of dinner party. Okay. How swanky was it? They had butternut soup as like an appetizer course. Wow. Sounds I've never good. had butternut soup. No? No. It tasted like, you know, when you dip the lobster in the butter mm -hmm. and then you bite the lobster, like that sensation nice. right before you get the chewy lobster tang. Yes. That's what it was like. I just kept oh, nice. pretending I was dipping lobster. <laughs> But it was great food, so like at 10 to 9, I call Ethel, yep. who helps me with Parker, and I yep. call and I say, Ethel, just remember to take X files for me, okay? She's like, I can't get the machine to work. I've been putting it in, I can't get it to work. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. I'm like, Ethel! <laughs> Ethel! <laughs> just put it in and put it in and do that for me! Spray, did you see that? Mm. It's like a sprinkler happened right there. First I sit down, I burp for all of America, and then I spit all well. over the set. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Have a great Monday. Um, so... She couldn't tape it. She couldn't, the tape machine wasn't working. So uh, at this party, the hostess, Lori, she heard me. And she said, well, you can watch it here. So in the middle of this oh. swanky dinner party, I no. made them watch the X-Files. And you ever watch the X-Files with people who are not X-Files fans? It's not a fun thing to do. They don't get it. Some guys were there, this guy, Tim, he's like, those shoes are really not right for hiking. I really feel as though he should have worn better shoes before he went down into that dirt hole. I'm like, that's really nice. Shut up! <laughs> But I couldn't say that because I didn't really know anyone, you right. know what I mean? I was like just thinking, Absolutely. boy, that butternut squash was wonderful, but mm. tick a lot while my show's <laughs> exactly. on. It was creepy, did you see it? No. Nope. Then I tuned over just to watch uh, Whoopi win her People's Choice it. Award. What a great speech that she was gave, wasn't great. it? Touching? Yes. I love the Whoopi. I know. 30 seconds, Rose? Okay, I'll wow. say to everybody who's on the show. Wow. Do you have any idea who's on the show? This uh, guy, Chris Christopherson, who did a movie with my best friend. Um, excuse me, Audrey, what's that from? <laughs> I don't know that one either. Oh, oh Audrey, no. come on! That's, That's my the Hoffman Howard? My weakest point, I know nothing about everything. 
<laughs> Audrey, I'm going to give you a few seconds. Think about it. Esther Hoffman Howard, he's walking up the staircase and he spray paints her name backwards on the way up to the bedroom. Remember? Spray paints Esther backwards. No. Chris Christopherson, Barbara Streisand, movie double. Oh, yes, the way, not the way we were. Oh, oh, not the, the way we were. Star not is born. the main Star is born. Star is born. Star is born. Star is born. Mm -hmm. Damn it! What do I have to do? <laughs> Spell it out. Just, you know. <laughs> Give me those Rolling Stone tickets. <laughs> no, no, I'm teasing you. Well, uh, he's here, Chris Christopherson. I can't wait. Yeah. Tracy Ullman, who's the funniest. He's funniest. I watched her show last night as well. Yeah. I love my Sunday nights of X-Files and then Tracy Ullman. It's uh, a delicious combination. I watched her, and she uh, makes me laugh, as always. John Dye, touched by an angel here. Great show. Now, when I ask him about the fact that his real name is John Dye, and he plays the angel of death. Right. Weird, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and uh, the man who designed the outfit I'm wearing today, up top, that would be Mr. Tommy Hilfiger. Is here so don't go away. we got a great show. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>